All right, good afternoon, one and all. Welcome to the video. Uh, finally, I have done my coding. It's a, just a pseudo code for now. Event-based architecture for MySQL. What I mean by that, I want to show you a small example, and then we will jump into talking. Okay. So here you can see um, right now it's waiting for events. That means if any new record is added to MySQL, it's gonna send an event. So for example, if I if I just did I just did a, uh, I inserted a statement, it printed an event. So it's constantly checking the database. Hey, was there an event? Was there an event? So check this out. Okay, checking for events. I'm gonna insert a record. Okay, insert it. Events. Amazing, right? This is an event-based architecture I developed right from scratch. Um, you know, all, all, everything, all my logic. I mean, I did all the logic by myself. Scratch. I mean, of course, it's not the best code. It's not the best, but yeah, it works. It, it solves the functionality. Um, let's try to understand uh, the gist of the idea. If you wanna uh, uh, see the theory part, I would recommend uh, watching the part one, which would uh, be, which can be actually found on my uh, uh, YouTube section. If you come here, event-based architecture, that's the first part. I would recommend you watching that first to understand the architecture, how um, everything works. Um, so now the code, explanation of the code, because that's what everyone wants to do. We have a settings class, which where I define all my settings here. We have a MySQL class. The job of MySQL is to execute that. We have a main class, which basically um, what we do in the main class is basically, first of all, I count. I, I basically get the uh, total number of rows from the MySQL. I update that into a global counter, right? I update the global counter with the maximum number of rows right now I have. I run a while true loop. I keep checking the database every one second. I keep checking the database every one second. If any data was, uh, I keep checking the database every one second, I grab the total number of rows. Then I do a business logic. Hey, if the row is greater than the global counter, that is the one that you saw before, that means a new records are added to the MySQL. In that case, I go to the database, I fetch that new data, uh, basically filtering out with that ID, ID is greater than the old counter value. Uh, grab that data, uh, of course, get the data from the MySQL database, transform that data, gr grab all the names of the columns, uh, convert it into a JSON object and print it. You can send it to Elasticsearch or MongoDB, whatever you want. A anytime any record is added to MySQL, it would send an event to Elasticsearch, MongoDB, whatever you want. This is pretty amazing. Um, I developed this right from scratch. Um, if you can see, um, did not, um, everything is just from scratch. So if you, I just want to show you again, I'm just happy to, you know, everything's working fine. So if I insert one more record, if you see waiting for events, so I send an event, there you go, that's an event. Um, if you you can similarly develop an event for deleting, uh, if anything was deleted or if anything was updated by seeing the last updated date. So pretty much whatever you want to do, you can do it. It's pretty easy, I would say. So um, yeah, that's the event-based architecture um, that you would do. Uh, the code is also, um, 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 the pseudo code is there on my uh, description section below. That is MySQL events-based system on Python. It can be found here with the initial script. I would leave the links in the description section below. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's what I've been doing today morning. So like for two hours, I've been programming this logic. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for love. Thank you for support. I hope you would use this event-based architecture. Uh, we can put this in the salary, dockerize everything, and you know, make it state of the art and deploy it on an AWS EC2 container or ECS or an EKS, whatever you would like. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any more questions, you would leave your questions in the comments. And as and when I have time, I would answer all your questions. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Keep smiling, keep coding, keep working hard. Don't give up and stay safe. Goodbye.